Hey, this is Booker T, five-time champ, and you're watching Comics of Artists Pro Secret, and you're looking real jack, baby. Now, can you dig that? All right, everyone. Hello, it's Comic Artist Pro Secrets, and my name is Ethan Van Skyver, 26-year veteran of the comic book industry, world's most charming, elegant, eloquent, and yet humble man. Great big Star Wars fan, trusted member of the media. This is the beautiful Scar Jo, otherwise known as Scarlett Johansson. Fantastic actress, and she's being dragged all over Twitter right now um, by SJWs, of course. Where everybody is going to get dragged on Twitter by SJWs eventually, that is why we must destroy them and everything that they stand for. Why? Why would this beautiful woman, why would this beautiful woman be uh, attacked um, by big fat soy-based weirdos, uh, endomorphs and ectomorphs, uh, with colorful hair and uh, problem spectacles. Why would that happen to her? Well, because she says, look, um, I'm an actress. You know, I, I'm not just white woman. Uh, I, am, I am an actress and I can play any role. You know, that's what I want to do. And I'm not going to be defined by just who I actually am in real life. That's what being an actress is all about. And she says uh, her top roles, she wants to talk about that, but also the political correctness she faced and has faced when selecting parts. Um, and this has been this has been a problem for her recently uh, because she dares. I mean, this is someone who just dares uh, to go against, to fly against the PC, uh, you know, hive mind group think. Uh, of the of the current batch of weirdos that runs Hollywood that run all of uh, you know all of pop culture and entertainment now in comics we're facing something similar but it's even weirder in comics because in comics uh, you have SJWs demanding more representation uh, demanding more inclusion and yet these SJWs are so OCD they're so crazy um, that they think that if there's a black if there's a new black superhero or an old black superhero if there's a black superhero a black person should be writing and drawing that character. Um, if there's a trans superhero or a trans character in a comic, obviously uh, trans creators should be working on them. Uh, Latino, same thing. Everybody has to be drawing what they look like all the time. And this is this is a struggle for people who actually have an artistic integrity and actually believe that they're creative and can do uh, you know can can learn to write and draw absolutely anything. Uh, it's a problem. Uh, people like Christopher Priest, who was a black man, uh, recently came out and he said, hey, how come I'm only being put on books like Black Panther right now? You know, I, I realize that my skin color is the same uh, as the character, but I'm a good writer and I can do anything. Uh, I've been writing for like 35 years and I've been writing all kinds of characters. It's only recently, only recently um, when the PC police... Uh, have have come on in, into power have i found myself stereotyped and typecast um you know based on this ridiculous ridiculous qualifier uh so it looks like um it looks like scar joe's going through the same thing let's read this together and let's find out so here she is uh johansson also addressed the criticism she faced uh when she was set to play a trans masculine male what does trans masculine male mean i guess that means a woman that becomes a man i don't know uh, in a movie called Rub and Tug, I mean Rub and Tub, uh, it, which she later withdrew from. Uh, why did she withdraw from that role? Pressure, pressure, Th that's why. I mean, crazy people on the internet uh, who wanted to give her a hard time because obviously that role, that role should go to an actual transmasculine male, uh, not to, you know, a really good, competent actress like Scarlett Johansson who has box office appeal and can actually get people into the movie theaters uh, to sit in the seats to maybe, if this movie has a message, that these SJWs actually want to get out there to the masses, maybe having Scarlett Johansson, somebody who everyone likes, deliver that message might be um, better for them. But no, that's not that's not what they want to do. They don't think that far ahead. Uh, and in fact, I don't think they really even care. I don't think that's an issue. I think they just want dominance and control. Uh, all right, so um, mostly having stayed quiet, quite. <laughs> Oh, garbage tier. Uh, so this is uh, this is Entertainment Tonight Canada. You guys don't have editors over there at Entertainment Tonight. I mean, this isn't Movie Web. This isn't Screen Rant. Uh, what on earth? Uh, maybe having stayed quiet surrounding the crit mostly having stayed quiet surrounding this criticism, the actress said uh, she doesn't like the political correctness that people are placing on her when picking her roles. Um, it's not just you, ScarJo. It's all of us. It's everybody right now. And you have to understand, I mean, the, you know, the, the slight annoyance that you're feeling uh, 
uh, by uh, these nagging parasitic uh, you know mosquitoes uh, that's just that's that's for you Mo a lot of people actually suffer far worse um, from these SJWs they actually seek to destroy people's lives and utterly exclude them from doing anything at all so uh, I, it'd be great I, I love I love that you're speaking up about this everyone loves Scarlett Johansson uh, she is um, I think she's the greatest female Avenger let me qualify that let me think greatest female Avenger uh, let's see, there's, I can only think of one other. Yeah, she's definitely, far and away, the greatest female Avenger. Uh, you know, so people, people do like Scarlett Johansson, and I think her words, um, her words carry weight. Uh, she says, you know, as, as an actor, uh, as an actor, I should be allowed to play any person or any tree. You want to play a tree? Uh, or any animal. You want to be an animal? Well, maybe you could. You, you could be in The Lion King. Oh, don't be in The Lion King. Holy cow, that movie bombed. Um, big time, uh, because that is my job and the requirements of my job, Johansson explained. I feel like it's a trend in my business and it needs to happen for various social reasons, yet there are times when it gets uncomfortable be when it affects the art because I feel art should be free of restrictions. No, wrong, Scarlett. Not in this day and age. In this day and age, SJWs are going to impose uh, restrictions upon you. And it is going to feel uncomfortable. They're going to decide. These people who produce nothing of value, these people who produce nothing that anyone wants, these people who produce nothing uh, but agitation, but static, but pain, but stress and fear, these weirdos are going to tell you, a great and beautiful actress, exactly uh, the margins, the margins that you must stay in in order to not be harassed by them. And that's, the, that's reality. That's the world right now. Uh, she says, I think society would be more connected if we just allowed others to have their own feelings and not expect everyone to feel uh, the way we do. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice if uh, these social justice warriors would just allow everyone uh, to, to believe what they wanted uh, and to just leave people alone? But that's not what they want to do. That's not what they're going to do. And I'm, again, it's wonderful to read this. It's wonderful to watch people waking up to this. Uh, we talk about this all day long. Uh, it's an important part of my channel. Um, you know, Ms. Johansson, keep fighting the fight. Uh, I don't think I would go see you in Rub and Tug, but, uh, you know, um, I would want you to play that part if that's what you wanted to do. I think that you should have the freedom to do whatever you want in your creative industry. And nobody, especially uh, nobody who looks like um, my soy boy drawing, none of these weirdos, uh, none of these danger-haired, uh, ridiculous third-wave feminists uh, and activists, attacktivists I think is the is the phrase that your boy Zach is using now should stop you from producing your art keep fighting keep fighting we're right here behind you uh, thanks everyone for watching this video what do you think of this I mean um, you know uh, I, again I, I, I'm pretty sure I can speak for everyone when I when I say that everyone loves all normal people love Scarlett Johansson I mean she's a beautiful woman she's a great actress uh, I, I hate to think that these SJWs are getting in the way of what she wants to do let me know in the comments <clears throat> excuse me and um if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel please make sure that you do subscribe to comic artist pro secrets we need you here we want you to be a part of this family we want to hear your thoughts uh and uh definitely value your ideas um thanks very much and i'll talk to you again soon Hello. <laughs> hey you want to follow me on twitter are you sure well, if so, I'm at Ethan Van Skyver. That's at Ethan Van Skyver. See you there. Hello, potential Indiegogo backers. Hello, friends. My name is Ethan Van Skyver. I'm a comic book creator who worked for 20 years for Marvel and DC Comics on books like Green Lantern, Flash, Superman, Batman, and X-Men. But before that, I had a comic book called Cyberfrog. Now, Cyberfrog lasted from 1993 to 1998, and then it stopped when I went to go work for DC Comics. Now I want to tell the story of where Cyberfrog has been for the last 20 years. I want to write, pencil, ink a book called Cyberfrog Blood Honey that tells the story of gigantic alien hornets that come to Earth and conquer it, sending Cyberfrog into deep hibernation where he emerges now in the year 2018 into a completely alternate reality, a new world where these hornets have taken over, devastated humanity, using human skin to make gigantic wasp hives and harvesting human blood to make honey to feed their young. Very few humans still exist. But it's up to Cyberfrog to save what's left of humanity and turn back the damage that's been done by these wasps with his brother Salamandroid, 
and his friend Heather Swain. I want you to help me do this. We're going to get colors by Kyle Ritter. He's a fantastic colorist, and he's going to make this book sing. Uh, I'd like this to be a 48-page one-shot prestige format, part one of four. So I'm asking you to help me launch the very first Cyber Frog Blood Honey epic graphic novel. Are you in? Will you help me? I hope so. Let's get this frog jumping again. 